Hello everyone and welcome to the Audrino playlist. Right, this is basically going to be a bit of a hands-on look at some of the Audrino boards out there. There's literally thousands and they're, they're quite good little uh, devices. Uh, most of the ones that I buy, uh, I do, I must admit, I just buy the cheap Chinese ones to see what they're like. Right, this first board I'm going to look at is uh, I would have said it was a Chinese knockoff. Uh, it probably cost me two and a half, three pounds delivered. And it's a, a knockoff. It may not be, but I'm going to say it's a knockoff of the Audrino Nano. And here it is. Uh, compared to my farm, you can see how the size of it. I mean, this could be integrated into a model train, a, a teddy bear or anything, any project that you're planning on doing. Well, let's just zoom in a bit. Right. Hopefully that's a bit better. Right, now this is a, a 5 volt board. Uh, some of them out there are 3.3 .3 and is based on the 80 mega 328. It's got 32k of flash for your programming and uh, 2k of memory clock speed is running at 16 megahertz uh, you've got eight analog in which looks like they're down the bottom here and it's got a 1k of uh, eprom as well so you can actually store data you know program data things like that now this one uh, I normally run on the USB, which is uh, 5 volts powered. Uh, the spec sheet on it does say that it's a 7 to 12 volts. So there's probably, yeah, there's a regulator here. Uh, where you would put that supply is, uh, looks like, yeah, voltage in here. So you put uh, anything up to 12 volts here and it'll regulate it down to 5 volts. You've got a reset switch as well. And... You, you've normally got a few LEDs normally yeah you got TXRX for when you're talking to it and uh, an odd one which is connected to an output pin uh, generally it's come with a default program which flashes this like every second right, like I said these are a couple of quid eBay quite good for little projects sorry if I was going off screen and I forgot I was zoomed in zoomed out or whatever right on the bottom I believe this is the driver just for the uh, the USB right there's not much else to say about this it's a nice little board It's versatile and it's cheap uh, I've got the pins on the bottom you can plug this on to uh, like uh, different shields this way uh, I believe they come normally without these pins on and you solder those on okay many thanks for watching